40 years ago, a record entered the British charts. It was an instant hit worldwide. The man who sang it is my next guest. Please welcome the King of Skiffle, Lonnie Donegan. Here he is. <laughs> No need for you to jump up there, Lon. I'll come down. Don't worry. <laughs> All right, now, Lonnie, um, the Rock Island, was that your first Rock Island hit? Line, yeah. Rock Island Line? Yeah. And uh, were you surprised when you had that as a hit? Yeah, well, I mean, uh, I thought it was just a joke. Somebody came in and showed me the top ten on the paper, the record mirror, yeah. which cost a penny in those days. And uh, I said, well, it's basically a joke, because we'd made it as a jazz record. <laughs> well, look, well, you haven't swallowed an aardvark or something. <laughs> Well, what happened there, Long? You front of life happening. Yeah. Thought Long's gone. <laughs> Long's gone again. So it took me three pounds ten and went home. Was that what you got paid? Yeah. Yeah. Well, did it go to number one? Yeah, well, around the world nearly. Yeah? Yeah, millions itself. Three pounds ten. You got paid for it? Three pounds ten. For recording it? Yeah. But I'll get more today, won't I? You get more today for uh, making it, but yeah. well, you, must, you must have got a royalty off it. No. Didn't you? No, three and a half quid was the musician's union rate in those days for a singer. Well, who got, who got the money? Record company, basically. <laughs> 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 well, a lot of the lyrics uh, the, of those early numbers, they were banned by the BBC, weren't they? Well, the songs were, yeah. Um, yeah. I, think I mean, probably first... today they would be all right, would they? Oh, yes, they'd be like lullabies today. I mean, I, I was the sex pistols of my age, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Uh, the, first, the first song was called Somebody's Digging My Potatoes, Trampling on My Vine. Double entendre, you see. <laughs> You had a very strict upbringing then, apparently. Like. <laughs> no, no, I didn't. The BBC did. <laughs> Obviously. Well, what keeps you going today, then? What, what? Money. Yeah, basically. Mm. Just the money. Quick rub down with a five pound note. I'm anybody's. Yeah. <laughs> what are you going for? Sorry about that. I'll see you New York. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, we've had people from all over. Anybody yeah. from anywhere else? China. What? China. <laughs> Are you here for the show or takeaway? <laughs> what do you do? What's going on here? <laughs> We're starting something now, Lonnie. <laughs> Oh, no, no, they're going to just get silly now. They're going to start shouting anyway, you know? Yeah. Is that uh, China? Well, you, you, I can see that you're Chinese. Very pretty, if you don't mind me saying, as well. Very nice. Yeah? Oh? You love me. Excuse me, Lord. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, how are you? <laughs> you don't mind me saying you look like you've got a few, Bob. <laughs> you have. What, uh, what do your family do? Business. Business. Yeah, great. This is getting good. Lom, you know, sometimes you no, come no, on the show, no, no. sometimes it's your night, sometimes it's not. I couldn't give a toss. You just said. <laughs> Yeah, you know, life goes on. I'll be back in a minute. I'm talking to Lon at the moment, and uh, I'm so very rude to interrupt. So, so what sort of uh, business are they in? Thank you. Huh? Sorry? <laughs> Get out of the way, love. You're of no interest. Get out. <laughs> what, what sort of business? I can't really say. <laughs> I can't really say. Well, they're not, they're not, not nothing to do with a triad or anything. It's something like that. <laughs> something like that? Yeah. Well, nice, nice knowing you. What a <laughs> oh, you've done a bit then. Oh, yeah. You've done a bit then, have you? Oh, I've done a bit, oh, yes. Yeah, wow. Donnie, back to you. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> uh, what are you doing at the moment? You're touring around and, and things like that? No, I just finished making uh, a, a CD. And um, it's taken since August. And it's actually the 40th anniversary this year of Rock Island Line that you asked me about. Right, so 40 years since that was a hit. So, uh, 40 years since... Is that on the album? Uh, yes, it will be, yeah. What else you got on there? Any of the other hits? Yeah, yeah we've put some old ones, some new, some borrowed, some blue. Lovely. <laughs> you, uh, you going to sing for us tonight, by the way? I, oh, yes, yes, <laughs> yes, why not? Yes? Would yes. that be nice? It'd be nice to hear Lonnie doing some of these numbers. <laughs> All right. You want to go get yourself ready? <laughs> well, I'll see you in a second. <laughs> All right, Lonnie Donovan, there you are. Now playing everything but the kitchen sink, Lonnie Donegan and his skiffle group. Here they are. Here we go. Thank you. 
and Clay Thompson. I'll tell you what, Pearlie's not playing attention. He's just married Raquel. Look at him. <laughs> Keep up, Curly. took a little trip along with Colonel Packenham up the Mississippi. We took a little bacon and we took a little beans and we met up with the rebels in the town of New Orleans. Oh, We could take them by surprise If we didn't fire our muskets till we looked them in the eye We took quite still to the peak as well We all got our muskets and we really gave them hell Coming. There must have been a hundred of them beating hey. on the drum. We set so high that we made the bugles ring. And they stood beside the coffin bells and didn't say a thing. Well, we fired guns and the rebels came and coming. And there wasn't that many as there was a while ago. Well, we fired once more and they began to run down the Mississippi to the Gulf of Mexico. That's it for this week. My thanks to Lonnie Donegan and his skiffle group. Good night, God bless. See you next week. Whatever. Bye-bye.